What happens when you leave scrambled eggs in a hot car for a month? Let's talk about that. Good Mythical Summer. Don't miss the big end of summer sale happening over at Mythical.store where you can get these very last ever run of the Dinkin' and Sinkin' We're mugs. We're not making these anymore? Get them while they're here, before they're gone, and they're on sale through July 31st. As you know, on this show, we like to leave things in things and see what happens. That's why we have a shelf that we leave things on called the shelf that we leave things on. But today we have a different idea. Yes, a little backstory. A few years ago when I went back home to North Carolina, some friends provided a car for me to use that they hadn't used all summer, but what they had done is leave a Whopper in it all summer. <laughs> uh, and On they purpose? Ju- Ooh, no, it was accidental. They took it out, they cleaned it up, but the Whopper had left its mark. Uh, it is a smell I will never forget. It was horrible, but totally inspiring. So, we bought a car for the sole purpose of leaving things in it. We call it the car that we leave things in. I call it a 1993 Infiniti G20. We've done Coke, bleach, air, Guinness, salt, pool water, nail polish remover, mouthwash, champagne, shamrock shakes, and Irish whiskey, and now we're testing the scientific properties of a sunbake hoopty. <laughs> It's time for Left in a Hot Car, Hot Car Edition. We'll be presented with two or more items that were left inside of the 93 G20, which was left under the sweltering Burbank sun for an entire month. And then we're gonna be presented with a specific result and we have to guess which item that applies to. If we get less than three right, we'll have to wear fuzzy dice earmuffs and truck nut necklaces and good mythical more. Oh, this is gonna be great. I think my voice was left in the hot sweltering sun for a month because I have a cold. Let's do it. Okay, so we're getting started with red wine. And white wine, left in a hot car for a month. And it gets hot out there in that parking lot. Uh, But what are the options, or which one of these things um, experienced the following? Which wine turned into a soft, shimmery goo like a My Little Pony at the glue factory? Oh, is that what they do to them? The red wine or the white wine, or both is an option. (laughs) Oh, tricky. Okay, soft, soft shimmery, shimmery goo. goo. There, it seems to be more stuff inside a red wine than white wine. That's just how I think of it. Well, I think like, you think that because you're right. Red wine has skins in it. I'm saying red. Right? They, Not you, white. They, they stamp with the skins on it. Yeah, so we're saying red. Shirts and skins, go on with skins. So we're saying red wine turned into a soft, shimmery goo. Now, which one are we opening first? Both at the same time? Yeah. Three, two, two one. Oh my word. No, hey, no, 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 no. First of all, how is this white wine? Look at that. It's the same. The same, but except there's, there's a little bit more in this, and a residue. What? Okay, we've gotta, we've gotta stir this up. Okay, here, I'm just gonna grab it with, the, with pincers. What? Look. And just. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh! It's a. Look, look at that link. Oh, I'm, I'm making a fortune cookie. Get a smell of that. Whoa, <laughs> it smells like Vegemite. It smells like, it smells kinda good. I, I wanna put it. it in my mouth. Do it. No. Come on, man, for science. Look, and look, I let go, and it's glued. <laughs> We've invented glue. Okay, we've got three different items in this round. Uncracked egg, cracked egg, and a scrambled egg. Um, That's what they look like if they're not in a car for a month, but our option for one of them turned completely brown like Rhett's mouth when it was filled with my chocolate pee. (laughs) Yeah, let's let's keep harkening back to that. I remember that. Um, Was it the cracked, scrambled, or the raw egg that turned completely brown? Um, there's only one of these, right? Yeah. Yes, they say. Um, I gotta clean up the mess Completely I brown. My instinct is that the scrambled eggs would just go completely brown because they're already like halfway there. It gets so hot in there, like cracking an egg, that thing is gonna cook. But same the as scrambled a, egg has already cooked. Already cooked. So it's all the same color, so it seems like it is a better canvas for turning completely brown. We agree that the that the uncracked egg is probably not gonna do anything, but we are gonna crack it 
and see what happened. Like, I, I'll tell you one time, I touched a, a rotten egg as a child and it exploded. So I have a, there's a lot of trauma associated with that. So I'll let you touch that one. Okay. Um, I agree. I think it's the scrambled egg that went brown because it was already cooked. So let's take these off one at a time. What is under that one? Let's see. That is a brown, which one is that? That's just the straight up cracked eggs. Seriously? Well, that turned brown, so we were wrong. This got turned into granola. That's the scrambled eggs. Is that the scrambled eggs? I can't even tell. That's the scrambled eggs. So this must that be the, brown? this must be the uncracked egg. Nothing, yeah. Okay. Well, hold on, I don't, I mean, this is a lot browner. Browner. Completely brown. <laughs> Completely okay. brown. Uh, right. So we were wrong. Yeah, we were kind of wrong. Let's dissect this. this crap, is, it's super, super dark. So we'll say that that is the one that this. is uh, the brownest. All right. So this is a knife, but it's a little knife. Oh my gosh, that is so hard. Huh. Oh, it's like egg crystals. It's crystallite. Look at this. Look at that. Oh, egg crystals. You know what? It's translucent, it's like amber. It's almost Ugh. smellless. Now this stuff here is wicked looking. Look at that granola. You just wanna chew on that when you're right. on the trail. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta bust open that egg, man. You're delaying the inevitable. Now, just, just at, pierce it. That, that's what this sharp. is for. Oh, oh just, a, just a needle? You've got me scared. <laughs> you should be, man, that thing just popped. It was a fertilized egg. It's gonna too. stink, right? I mean, we've all read Charlotte's Web. Yeah. <laughs> or at least listen to the audio book. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. There we go. Nice. Nothing coming <laughs> out. You gotta hey, cut it with some. I mean, you're not supposed to really touch a scalpel, but. Oh, oh. Now just break it open. What is that? What is this alien? It... Oh, it's gummy. You love gummy. Look a uh, there. Okay, I'm gonna smell it. <laughs> it's kind of subtle. It gives you the face shakes, man. Oh, smell it. Now, I've got a cold, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to smell it. It just smells like, Ugh. it smells like a century egg. Yeah. I think we've made ourselves a month egg. I'm gonna, I'm gonna chop her in hand. It boiled. It basically boiled. It's probably safe to eat. It's probably safe to eat, Link. That's cool. Because I don't think bacteria can get inside of, a, of an egg. To me, this is the crazy. That granola, I did not know how how granola was made. Okay, so we got some cheap sunglasses. And a sandal. Which one of these things got all bent out of shape like Gumby practicing the Kama Sutra with Stretch Armstrong? Oh, practice makes perfect. Um, all bent out of shape. There's I mean, more that can go wrong with a pair of glasses, let's be honest. But here's the thing, sunglasses are made to be in the sun. sun. Maybe nothing happened to him at all. And sandals are for inside only. Not in this fashion forward age, Rhett. But I feel like sandals are made to be like on the black top. You know what I'm saying? Like they get hotter. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right. You think they get hotter, huh? Mm-hmm. And when your feet are the hottest part of your body, everybody knows that, especially on me. Well, I'm not gonna disagree with that. Thanks. It's not that I like your feet, it's that I think you're ugly. <laughs> and um, I mean, it doesn't take much for a cheap pair of sunglasses to get bent out of shape. So you're voting this for- This thing's already flat. What, what else could happen to that? Yeah, I agree. I think it's the sunglasses. Official answer, sunglasses. Yep. Three, two, one. Oh gosh. Oh, oh my God. goodness, we were totally wrong. Hold on. The sunglasses hold, are- hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Unchanged. This created something that we should immediately sell in a vending machine in Tokyo. Can I, can I? 
I mean, it it looks like you could really sprint in one of these. See things. if you can get it. See if you can get it on. See if you can get it on. Yeah. Let's get it on. Oh goodness. Nope, that's not really working. Not really working. Not oh, here. You're gonna, you're gonna break your own toe. Not here. Not in Tokyo. What? So we are O for three. Man, the, this new format of this game is really stumping us you left and us. right. But maybe now you can just wear it the other direction. I don't know, there's gotta be a use for this. The baby shoes. So we left a whole thing of tofu open to the air in the car. And a string of beef. And you're like, what's a string of beef? It's just a string with beef on it. That's it, stop uh, asking so many questions. This is just badgering us. one piece, but there were several pieces that were left. String of beef, you know, you know, you know the string of beef. And Lucas informed us that the hottest it got inside of the car was 210 degrees Fahrenheit. That's and almost th unbelievable. And he said that was only on a day when it was 85 degrees. So something about the the greenhouse effect, the confection affection. Confection? That's All right. Like, that's that's like the sugary thing. Well, yeah. Bakey makey effect. I don't know. So which one of these things? Changed color and smells rancid. Oh gosh, like a mood ring in a dog's butthole. That is. True. How would you even know? It does change color and smell rancid? Huh? How would you even know what that was like? This dog is very. Oh gosh. Emotional. Uh. <clears throat> um, rancid. Well, I mean, the beef is going to go rancid. Well, you hang beef no, in like No, but I a... feel like the beef turned into jerky. I think that's going to be edible. You think this tofu became stinky tofu? Mm hmm. And like fermented? I mean, I've been wrong every time, though, so I feel like we should go with the opposite of what I decide. Or I could decide. Yeah, but I'm saying it's a pretty it's a pretty good bearing to just go with the opposite it's, of what I'm thinking. It's gotta be the tofu, right? Well, I think it's the tofu, so that's probably wrong. Well, then how are we gonna decide? You made the decision, I don't care. Tofu. We've tofu. already lost. We're, all, we're already tofu. gonna have truck nuts on in Good Mythical More. Three, two, one. Now, oh God, something stinks, and it ain't that. This, oh. <laughs> yeah, that smells good. Not really, but not bad. You smell this? Look in there. That is just blackened. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. oh, you better be glad you're sick, bro. Oh. It smells like roadkill. We gotta cut it, though. You know how if you're like walking your dog and you're like, you don't see anything, but you smell something and it's like hitting a brick wall of like skunk nasty? This is oh. it's cracker texture. Oh. I'm gonna use the Mickey Mouse tool, and I'm just gonna. Oh, look at that! Oh, oh, oh! oh, oh my it's, gosh. It's, it's like gelatinous. It's like caramel. All right, now just take a little piece, a fresh broken piece, and put it right up next to your nose. <laughs> oh, I just did, dude. No, right, just right, 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 right. Hold on, this will clear you up, man. This is better than that over-the-counter bull crap you've been putting in your nose. I'm not listening to you. <laughs> Get that away from my face. Hey, we were right. You were right, Link. Oh, oh gosh. gosh, it's man. It's it, you know what? Look at I've never directly smelled a dog's butthole, but I can imagine that that's what it smells like if you get close enough. Yeah, but this 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 is um. It's not like beef jerky because this stuff kind of just pulls apart. It's very brittle. Whatever it is. Oh gosh, everybody's making these faces. Yeah, like, we need to get eh. we need to get this out of here. Of course, we also left Link's glasses in a hot car for a month. Oh. So that's where those have been. All right, we'll be wearing truck nuts and earmuffs and Good Mythical More. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Ashley. I'm Kaya. And we live in Utah. And, and it's, it's time, time to spin, spin the wheel, wheel of mythicality. Hey guys. Long time mythical beast there. Click the top link to find out what happened to the ingredients of a ham sandwich left in the hot car in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is gonna land. Catch a wave of discounts for a limited time only. Our end of summer sale runs through July 31st at mythical.store.